feels good to finally have the VMAs video posted. I can just sit back, relax, and talk to myself out loud like I normally do. Am I gonna do that? Well, yeah, of course I am. Wait. When? What is it in these? Oh my god. So no one was gonna tell me that there was an award show this past Sunday. I honestly didn't even notice the Emmys happened. You know, the VMAs just happened. That was on a Wednesday for some reason. Kendrick Lamar dropped a song that day, which was crazy. And P. Diddy just got arrested today. There's a lot going on in pop culture right now. And I'm trying to wrap my head around everything. So the Emmys was just like whoosh, swept under the rug. Didn't even notice it happened. I don't really pay attention to award shows anyway, but now that I do fashion reviews of them, I'm like, I need to, I need to keep up obviously. Now I know the Emmys isn't a fashion event in itself, but as every award show, it has a carpet. And I'm here to review these looks. My name is Maddie, Maddie the Batty, your new favorite YouTuber, hello. I am just a girl, not a professional fashion review critic, whatever you want to call it. I don't really even know what I'm talking about half the time, so just take that for what it is. I know what you're thinking, two fashion review videos back to back? Can you stop? And the answer is no, no I can't. I'm just a girl who got laid off and now has all the free time in the world to make YouTube videos and I didn't have any video ideas this week so this is just kind of perfect. <laughs> if I'm being real, I'm trying to make this YouTube thing happen, so uh. If you like my fashion review videos, buckle up. Not that you're in a car, but you know. If you're not a fan, okay. What are you doing here, bye. And before we even get started, we're just gonna get all the black suits out of the way. What are you doing? It's like the Spider-Man meme where they're just all pointing at each other. I feel like that's all what they did because they all wore the fucking same thing. Get creative here, people. This is a red carpet. I understand it's not a fashion event, but could you imagine if women just wore the same thing all the time? Just a, a white gown or a black gown all the time, every event? You know how boring that would be? This is why women make things happen. Women make shit happen. Women are art. We are creative. We are beautiful. Okay, sorry about that. I was gonna go on a tangent there. Um, so we got all the black suit dudes out of the way. This is a no black suit zone. I don't like. St I don't like that shit. It's boring. Give me more than a black tuxedo. I'm sweating. All right, Selena Gomez. Speaking of plain, um, no, she looks beautiful, but yeah, it is just kind of boring. It's not a lot going on. But I mean, again, this isn't a fashion event. I get it. I'll try to be easy on them this time because it. It, it's not a big deal. If you, you look nice, you look rich, that's the point, right? It's just a television event award show thing. Yeah, she looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. Is it wowing me in any way? No, not really. Jonathan Bailey. Now, I excluded him from the black suit squad because he is doing a little something here, I suppose. He has like a silky shirt. I don't know what this like corset thing is wrapped around him. It's probably not a corset, but... At least he's trying here. He has red sunglasses on, you know. He looks nice. It's better than just the cookie cutter black suit. Ah, oh, I'm a man. I'm not even gonna try to say her last name because I probably won't say it right, but Anna. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I love the form fit on the body and then the flare out on the bottom. Ayo Debris. I feel like she always looks so cute. I don't know if I like this dress though, I will be honest. It looks like an arts and crafts project kind of i don't know if it's bowen or bowen yang you know it's it's he's putting in effort he is putting in effort and that is all i can ask for because the bar is down here for for men showing up at award shows um so he is putting in effort greta lee um i'm so sorry to say this but this looks like a tampon i don't know if that's like a scarf around her but it's like a tampon and then the string <laughs> She's beautiful, but I'm just not sure about the dress. Maya Erskine? Erskine? Now this looks like a dress that I would wear in elementary school going to church on Sundays. I'm not really a fan of how the flowers just kind of look glued on like a school project. Nava Mao? I know I'm not saying these names right. I'm sorry! Someone teach me how to say them so I don't look like a fool. She looks hot. I love this. This is like, this is like glass, like blown glass. I like it. 
I'm a sucker for red on the red carpet. Look at me. I should be there. Me and, me and Ty, that's what I call Tyler, we're, we're close. Anyway, Carrie Coon, girl. This is what decision fatigue looks like. Talking about, I don't know what to wear. She said we're doing half dress thing, half long coat. Not, not loving it. <laughs> Cheryl Lee Ralph, again, she looks beautiful, but it's not wowing me. It's just a black gown. John Oliver. And Kate Norley. Um, so she might as well just be standing there by herself because we're not gonna talk about that. Suit and bow tie, get out of my face. Um, Kate looks like a, she's ready for prom. She is ready for prom. Uh, yeah, it looks like a prom dress. Nothing more, nothing less. As far as if I do say so myself. Next is Lionel. I'm gonna tell you this one time and one time only. What? What you, you already know what it is. <laughs> Pay your taxes. Oh. We out of this bitch. Oh. That nigga sweatsuit bank. I know that's right, custom LaFleur. You know, it makes me really happy to see all of the members of Odd Future doing something amazing with their lives. Like, I grew up watching Loiter Squad. I grew up listening to Tyler the Creator, obviously. You know, I've seen the members just kind of like branch off and do their own thing. And it just makes me so happy. You know, I would love if they could just all get together again and maybe do a Loiter Squad reunion of some sort, potentially, possibly. I know Tyler was like trying to step away from TV, but now he's like doing a show all of a sudden or a movie. He wants to do a movie now, but you can't do a Loiter Squad reunion. What's up with that? Anyway, <laughs> Lionel looks fresh. He looks good. It does kind of like remind me of like an uncle outfit. Like he looks like somebody's uncle. You know, there's always like the, the dad fit that's like kind of nerdy and kind of lame. But then there's the uncle who's like, you know, he looks fresh, but he looks like an uncle, if that makes sense. <laughs> Isa. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to say this name. It's E-I-Z-A. Would it be Isa? Isa? Gonzalez? I don't know. All I know is that homegirl's looking like a flamingo, but I love it. Kristen Wiig, serve girl. She looks so, she's glowing. She looks hydrated, but this dress looks like ancient dragon scales. It has potential. I love a good shiny dress, but I don't know if I like the texture of it. Not my fave, but it doesn't even matter because she's, she looks gorgeous. There's a lot of names on here that I'm not going to say out of respect for them. So this is, she's one of them. Uh, okay. This is like, she went to the fabric aisle in the Michaels craft store, grabbed the, the green glitter and just said, whoosh, 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 we're ready. Idris Elba and Sabrina Elba. Why did I think he had an apron on under this? Okay. I don't know what he has wrapped around him. Like he, he's on his lunch break from the kitchen shift and just put on his nice suit jacket and rolled up. I don't know. I don't know why it, it just, my eyes go there automatically and I'm thinking of an apron. And then her dress also is like kind of giving apron a little bit <laughs> with just like the white in front. Diane Lane. This is extremely unenthusiastic. The, the single shade of whatever color this is, are, it's just not the most flattering, I would say. But what do I know? I'm just sitting here in my living room. <laughs> Hannah in binder. It's definitely not right. This is not bad. I don't know. I don't like the chunk of fabric in the front, but everything else is, is cute. I don't like, I like it. Jodie Foster. I don't, this is like, this part reminds me of a sash, but the fact that it's just the same color as her dress, I don't like it. And then there's a belt underneath that we're supposed to see, but we can't see because the giant sash is in the way. And then this sleeve is different. I don't think so. Juno Temple. I just have to say that I envy her hair. I wish my hair was naturally curly like this so bad. It used to be when I was a kid and then all of a sudden it just wasn't. And now I have like the weirdest hair ever. I can't do anything with it, which is why I always have it up. Anyway, her hair looks gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Um, And the dress isn't bad. It's not bad. It's all right. It's okay. Lisa, oh, I have a bubble in my throat. <laughs> <coughs> Lisa Ann Walter looks like a Disney Channel character. I can't think of who. Yeah, this is just not doing a lot for me. I hate these little dangly pieces of fabric that people try to make a thing. I'm not a fan. Mindy Kaling, she has been serving lately. Her Met Gala look, 
this she said i'm gonna bring a black gown but i'm gonna make a statement this is not just an ordinary black gown she said we're gonna bring out the the whatever these are called nakata karumi and tedanobu i just won't say it we're only talking about her anyway so i guess i don't even need to say his name because you already know anyway she looks amazing i love the kimono i love the colors it looks like a painting on the bottom i love a good fashion statement meets art piece and this is exactly what this is this is beautiful matt bomber matt bomer okay this ain't bad i really like the this like maroonish color on top you know if you don't want to wear a black suit but you still kind of want to do like low effort and look good this is what i imagine like same thing with the guy from earlier who wore like the silky shirt like you know it's like you're still not doing a whole lot but you're you look better and you stand out more than if you just wear a black suit and a tie tyler james williams okay chris he said yeah i work out yeah i work out what about it <laughs> no he looks good the sleeveless look for for an award show is a little different it's just like, we get it, you lift. Andrew Scott didn't have time to go to the tailors, I'm assuming. I feel like he's trying to look like he's from the 70s, but it just looks like he's trying on dad's clothes. Ella Purnell. Whoa, okay. Okay, metallic. This looks like Paris Hilton's dress at the VMAs before it got all ripped up. Abby Elliott. Okay, I'm a sucker for this like baby blue color. This is one of my favorite colors. Like light blue turquoise uh what's with the cape though what's with the cape what's why do you have the cape on what's that about it doesn't look horrible i've seen worse but i can't say i hate it quinta brunson wow holy bows i feel like this is jojo siwa's new era in a dress She's like still all about bows and stuff, but it's just like black and rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it would be a poly pocket dress made out of rubber. Like it looks like I could stretch it out and chew on it. <laughs> Meryl Streep. I love a good pantsuit. I would say I like it except for this little bow thing in the front. Take that off and I like it. Maybe a different pose would be good. I don't know who took this picture. They kind of did her dirty, but it's not bad. Richard Gad. To do the had to do it to impose while wearing a skirt is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it's like he's trying, you know, it's suit and tie on top, but like schoolgirl on the bottom. <laughs> you tried, but you did not succeed, buddy. Is it Gillian or Jillian Jacobs? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I don't like this. It looks like the dress is still being actively worked on and tailored and she's just the mannequin. Chris Perfetti looking perfecty. Not, not really, not perfect, but you know, he's putting in the effort, he's putting in the work. I actually love this top and I would want this for myself. Dion Harmon, maybe? This is beautiful, wow, wow, wow. I almost wish that there was like more on the bottom, but then I feel like it'd be too fancy for the Emmy. So for what it is, I think this is perfect. It's elegant. It's my favorite word to say in these fucking videos. Elegant, elegant, elegant. Like, come on, be creative here. Elegant synonym. Stylish. <laughs> Looks very stylish. Graceful. Here we go. Refined, sophisticated. Yes, she looks very refined and sophisticated and stylish. Another Gillian Jillian Anderson. This is like one of those car window covers. Like a windshield cover to, to block the sun from coming in your car. That's what that is. Alan Cumming. Alan Going. Janelle James. Ooh, so this reminds me of the dancing emoji. I like the fact that these are like roses. It's just, she's just like a rose blooming. But it also looks like it's made out of construction paper. Doesn't look that comfortable. Takahiro Hira? Almost a black suit. He, he went navy blue with it. I'll give him a pass. Dan Levy. What is that? Is that a levy on your shoulder? What is that? Why is that there? Does he know that's there? Is someone gonna tell him? I don't know if this is maybe like a, a COVID precaution. Like anyone gets too close, he could just be like, oh, 
don't talk to me it also just looks like the wind kind of blew something up during the photo and then it just stayed there it also looks like it could be a pillow that he could just if it gets boring i don't know what you were trying to do with this one boy but i don't i don't think it's doing what you thought it was eugene levy had to do it to him it's a suit whatever chris olsen he looks like he should be in a boy band he also just looks like he's trying too hard to look cool are you wearing one of those like tank tops that stretches down below your nipples with a suit dame kristen scott thomas i don't know why but she looks like a literal queen like i feel like not like, yes, queen, but like actual royalty queen. Like, yes, I uh, fetch me my cloak. RuPaul. <laughs> Yeehaw, RuPaul. I kind of get what he was going for, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Sade Robinson. She for real looks like a butterfly and you know, I don't hate it. It's very exquisite. Very charming. Not Moises Arias. What? Why you look like that? <laughs> He looks like he just committed a crime. He's like, <laughs> I don't know, he looks suspicious. Got the chains dangling and shit, like he just broke out of them and shoved them down his pants. What the hell, Rico? I don't know, he doesn't look bad. It's just, the chains are a little confusing. Robin Roberts. We have another prom dress going on, but that's okay. That's okay. She still looks stunning. Viola Davis. Looks like she's about to join Corella Deville and try to get some Dalmatians. Viola? Beautiful. Dress, giving Corella. Jelly roll. They could, they should have told him to hold it up more. I will say it is not entirely a black suit. There's a little bit more effort being put in, but what is this foot stance <laughs> real quick? Why are his feet going two completely separate directions? <laughs> like one is going over there, the other one's going over here. He don't know what to do, but he's happy. Nicola Coughlin. Again, I don't know if I like things that kind of like flare out on top and then the bottom's just kind of like a stick. She looks like a silver chess piece. Reese Feldman. This man looks like an anime villain. Morphine Love Dion. Uh, killed it. Absolutely slayed. I feel like this is too good for the Emmys. I feel like this belongs at the Met Gala. This is so beautiful. Jennifer Aniston. This looks like expensive. This looks like rich. This looks like successful actress. And she is also glowing, wow. I, I mean, it's nothing crazy, except when you zoom in, it's kind of crazy, but yeah, this is exceptional. I like it. Maya Rudolph looks like if Little Red Riding Hood grew up and wore colors other than red. That's what it reminds me of, I don't know. She doesn't even look happy to be wearing it, honestly. <laughs> You'll get him next time. Nisi Nash, stunning. This is great. This is exquisite. Usually I don't like the dangly pieces of fabric, but this one kind of blends in and it, it matches. Reba McIntyre, don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this color is not my favorite. I don't know, is this bandana patterns in the, in the, in the jacket? I don't know, not my fave. Rita Ora. No way she's wearing the exact same thing as the girl from earlier. I don't know who copied who, but some may write. Solly Richardson Whitefield, Whitfield. This looks like you made this in Roblox. Okay, Sophia. You know, it's nothing crazy, but the gown itself is very beautiful. And then, yeah, this is just perfect for an Emmys event. Reese Witherspoon. It looks like a wedding dress, but like, you know those girls that are like, I don't want a typical white wedding dress. I want to be different. And then they do like a black wedding dress because that's just what they're into. That's what this looks like. I don't know why that came to my head out of all things, but it's okay. All right, I'm going to call it here. There's so many people on these and I know I didn't get through everybody because again, there's so many people. I hope you enjoyed this little fashion review. Again, not a professional fashion critic, just a girl. Don't take my opinions too seriously, all right? Sorry for the back-to-back -back fashion review videos. I just didn't have any other video ideas. So hopefully I think of something. My name is Maddie, AKA Maddie the Baddie, AKA your new favorite YouTuber. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.